Hi everyone. This is uh, Dr. G. V. R. Chashiro, Associate Professor in the Department of uh, Mechanical Engineering, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad. So today we have discussion on definitions and terminology on riveted joints. So first of all, so what do you mean by fasteners, and how do you classify the fasteners? So the actually two types of fasteners are there. One is permanent type of joints fasteners, and the second one is temporary type joints. So fastener means that is nothing but it is a joint. Between two plates. So mainly, fasteners are classified into two types: the permanent type of fasteners and uh, temporarily. So where is the uh, this uh, riveted riveted joints are comes under permanent type of fastening. So why? Because two uh, plates are connected with the help of uh, riveting. So you can't separate uh, after uh, riveting without uh, destroying the joint. This type of joints are uh, called as permanent type joints. So in this uh, riveted joint. The main important uh, uh, component is a rivet. So the rivet is shown in this uh, figure. It is a short cylindrical bar with a head integral to it. This is the head portion. It is a short cylindrical bar. Previously, so before uh, before making rivet. The bar is like this. So after formation of rivet, you can uh, see in this uh, diagram head. The middle portion is called as uh, shank or body, and the bottom portion is called as tie. So always the upper portion is called as uh, head, and the lower portion is Shank. So here described the permanent type of fastenings and uh, temporary fastenings. So the examples for permanent type of um, fastenings are riveted joints, welded joints, and the braced joints, and soldered joints also comes under this classification. The temporary type fastenings are to the temporary or detachable fastenings are those fastenings so which can be disassembled, so disconnected, without destroying the the connecting components, the original components. It means suppose you want to replace the small damaged component, damaged part. So, not required to destroy the complete, uh, um, complete uh, component or mission. So, you can uh, dismantle very easily. So, you can uh, replace that uh, failed component. This type of uh, joints are called as temporary joints. Example for these temporary joints are screw joints, keys. Auto joints and uh, splint joints. These joints are connected uh, to coaxial rods with the help of uh, temporary fastenings. It may be cutter, it may be screw, it may be bolt, it may be coupling. These uh, these all are. Examples for temporary fastenings. Whereas in a previous case, 
you, you can't uh, disassemble so you can't uh, uh, detach so whenever you want to replace the component or failed component so entire uh, the entire joint uh, may not be may not uh, entire joint uh, may not separate uh, very easily so you want to destroy the joint so this type of joints are called as permanent type For example welded joints so two plates are joined with the help of welding so suppose if any damage any defect is there in joint so completely you have to destroy the joint only so you can't repair so here yeah, in riveted joints the types of uh, riveted heads uh, shown in this uh, slide different types of uh, riveted heads are there according to their uh, dimensions and uh, shape the main thing is geometry the geometry of the uh, rivet so the first one is snap head in snap head the head shape is uh, shown in this uh, diagram and uh, the height is 0.70 and what is the the total uh, diameter of the head is 1.6 times of d similarly fan head so the show the shape of the head is shown in this uh, diagram and mushroom shape type head is also there and the counter shank had 120 degrees the angle is 120 degrees so in other types of heads also there one is a flat counter shank head 90 degrees so the dimensions shown in this diagram so you have to take this diamond dimensions for calculating the problems while solving problems suppose the given type of riveted is flat counter shank you have to take uh, the standard uh, relations only so here uh, small d is nothing but diameter of the shaft so length flat uh, counter shank so the diameter of shaft nothing but here rivet uh, diameter so 1.5d and uh, thickness is uh, 0.433 small d so other type of uh, uh, head is round counter shank head and uh, flat head type these all are types of uh, rivet heads flat head one is and the second one is fan head and mushroom shape head and the counter shank head so all these uh, uh, types of rivet heads are depends upon their uh, shape of the head the geometry of the head only so based on this uh, head shape the dimensions also there next one is types of riveted joints riveted joints are generally two types the main classification is two types one is lap joint another one is pod joint so what do you mean by lap joint so lap joint lap joint is that in which one plate overlaps the other plate and the two plates are then riveted together so here the lap joint is one, one that in one plate overlap the other plate suppose take two plates so one more plate here. two plates are here overlap so the, this type of joint is called as lap joint these two are joined with the rivet the joint are 
once again i will draw two plates are overlap So one plate here, and here it is. So this type of joint is called as lap joint. So here two plates are overlap. This is one plate uh, thickness, the plate thickness. The plate thickness also depends upon the diameter of the rivet. This is the rivet. So another type of joint is bud joint. Whereas in bud joint, it means main plates are kept in alignment. So touching each other. So like this, this is one plate, another plate is this plate one and plate two. These two are joined with the help of cover plate. That plate is called a strap. These two are joined with the help of another plate. It may be placed one side or both side. Suppose one side you are, suppose you use the strap at a cover plate. This is the thickness of the plate. Plate one. Plate two. This is called as strap plate or cover. Suppose we uh, use two sides. The main two sides. The cover plates are used. The joint is called as double cover plate, double strap, but joint. So that the cover plate is then riveted together with the, these main plates. So the butt joint is classified into various uh, types. One is single strap butt joint, double strap butt joint. Suppose in a single step butt joint, the edges of the main plates butt against each other. So, and only one cover plate is placed on one side of the main plate. Already shown in this uh, diagram. In this uh, Only one cover plate we use in double double cover plate uh, use and then uh, rivets. then riveted together. So in this uh, diagram shown various types of uh, joints, single riveted lab joint. So the lab joint is over, the plates are overlapped, uh, overlapped one on the other plate. So in this uh, single riveted lap joint, the single row is there and then double riveted lap joint, the chain riveting is there and the two rows are there and double riveted lap joint but uh, zigzag uh, manner, not in a uh, uniform. 
here you should know some terminology related to this uh, rotated joint pitch and uh, margin what do you mean by pitch and the margin value what is what do you mean by back pitch and the diameter pitch these ter terms are very very important um, for rotated joints uh, to solve the problems and also to draw the rotated joints so here yeah, the first term is margin means it is the distance of one plate edge to to its uh, center of the rivet this is one plate edge plate edge to central center of the rivet is called margin and then uh, p pitch one is margin pitch back pitch and diameter pitch so here shown in this uh, diagram p pitch is it is the axial distance between one rivet to the another rivet here shown now uh, front view and uh, top view so back pitch so distance between uh, two rows and then diameter pitch is distance between diameter distance between one rivet to the another rivet so this is a zigzag uh, riveted joint riveting so not in a uniform space so zigzag manner uh, they arrange rivets in this uh, joint so that need to know these terms for problem solving Just uh, important uh, other uh, important terms used in uh, riveted joints. So already we have studied in this margin, zigzag riveting, and uh, PD diameter pitch. So here uh, shown in this uh, chain riveting lab joint. triple riveted chain riveting single row double so in this uh, single riveted lab joint double riveted lab joint double riveted la lab joint with a zigzag similarly here triple riveted triple riveted joint this one also triple riveted joint but joint is a zigzag riveting so in this uh, shown the back pitch so it is the distance between two two consecutive rows here uh, shown the back pitch in is chain riveting chain riveting 1 2 3 4 here uh, four riveted uh, joints uh, rows are there and it's a chain riveting and also it comes under butt joint it's not a lap joint in previous so plate here two plates are overlapped on each other similarly here is plate 1 and plate 2 these two are joined with uh, double cover 
cover plate, a step, cover plate 2 and cover plate 1. Cover plate or step. So here yeah, double riveted chain riveting but joint. Similarly, in this uh, zigzag uh, riveting shown diagram, the, the arrangement of uh, rivets in this uh, joint zigzag shown in this uh, diagram. So, another uh, important uh, terms are there in terminology related to this uh, riveted and uh, welded joints. In next class, uh, we will discuss uh, briefly. So, these are the references I have taken. E. Bandari, Skurmi and R.L. RL not. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.